is about chemtrails, or more specifically, how it's not actually a thing. Now, I'm never afraid to stray away from a somewhat controversial topic, and this I've been getting emails about probably for six or seven years. So let's talk about what a chemtrail is, first of all, what people believe it is. They believe that coming from a plane, which you see there in that kind of picture, is the government spraying either a chemical or some sort of substance down onto people. So that's the premise behind the chemtrail idea. Let's talk about what it is in actuality, which is a contrail. And to understand how a contrail forms, you have to understand how a cloud forms to begin with. So the basic premise behind cloud development is that the air near the ground heats up, whether it be from the sunlight most often or just because of an air mass change. That air now is less dense and rises up into the atmosphere. As it does so, it cools. The atmosphere is stacked such that, in general, it's cooler aloft than it is at the surface. So as it's rising and cooling, it gets closer and closer to its point of condensation, meaning it can hold less water vapor when it's cooler as a parcel of air. So eventually it gets to the point where the temperature and the dew point are the same and condensation occurs, much like you see on a car window, except in this case, it's creating a cloud, which is a combination of supercooled water droplets and ice crystals. Okay, So that's how a cloud forms, which makes it a lot easier to understand how a contrail forms. Let's talk about how that happens. Jet engines exhaust vapor. That is the number one exhaust of a jet engine is water vapor. And there are also particles in there, some of them sulfur particles, which is important because that's something for the water vapor to cling onto. So now you're up in the atmosphere, where in general, if you ever go on a flight, like a jet blue flight, that tells you what the temperature is outside at 35,000 feet, it's like minus 40, minus 45, very cold aloft. Now you're injecting this warm water vapor into the atmosphere. So you can see where I'm going with this. You already have a parcel that is much warmer and has a lot more moisture in a spot where it's cold. So that condensation occurs rapidly into basically what is a cloud, which is what a contrail is. Now, what people say about chemtrails is how come some planes put them off and others don't? That's one of the number one things people say. And the reason for that is simply elevation. This is a rocket launch that was recorded. So you're looking vertically up into the atmosphere. Notice there's a contrail here in the middle part, not on either side. It's because different layers of the atmosphere have different moisture contents and they have different temperature profiles. So in some cases, it's not going to be conducive to you seeing the contrail. The contrail is always there. It's just going to be how long does it hang around. So the contrails that you see hanging around for a long period of time are because there's a lot of water vapor in the atmosphere and not much in the way of winds. I'm OK with conspiracy theories. Let's just save them for things that we don't have a real explanation for. We know exactly what contrails are. They've known since the 40s what contrails are. So no more chemtrails. Brain dropped. There it Dropped is. it. Dropped the brain. Walked away. All right. We'll let you answer all the emails. Yeah. Yes.